Hello, we come to evening prayer on Thursday the 2nd of July. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And we're reading some verses from Psalm 78. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power in the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. How he wrought his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he led his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them to safety and they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. He brought them to his holy place, the mountain which his right hand took in possession. He drove out the nations before them and settled them in their inheritance. He settled the tribes of Israel in their tents. Yet still they tested God most high and rebelled against him and would not keep his commandments. They turned back and fell away like their forebears starting aside like an unstrung bow. They grieved him with their hill altars and provoked him to displeasure with their idols. The Lord heard and was greatly angered. He raged against his inheritance. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord woke as out of sleep, like a warrior who had been overcome with wine. He struck his enemies from behind and put them to perpetual shame. He chose David, also his servant, and took him away from the sheepfolds. From the following the ewes with their lambs he took him, that he might shepherd Jacob his people and in Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them with a devoted heart and with skilful hands he guided them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Reading from Romans chapter 13 and beginning at, first, at the first verse. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God. And those authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority resists what God has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you wish to have no fear of the authority? Then do what is good and you will receive its approval. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do what is wrong, you should be afraid. For the authority does not bear the sword in vain. It is the servant of God to execute wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also because of conscience. For the same reason you also pay taxes. For the authorities are God's servants busy with this very thing. Pay to all what is due to them. Taxes, to whom taxes are due. Revenue, to whom revenue is due. Respect to whom respect is due, honour 
to whom honour is due. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ, my right and my left, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. With all authority, gentle in intimacy, Christ, my identity. Christ be with me, Christ within me. Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. We pray for the United Nations, that it may be an instrument of peace in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders of nations, that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. Pray that the Lord will deliver us from nations that wish to encroach upon and control other nations and thereby threaten peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given courage and find a hope, a welcome and a future. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and broken relationships. Give us the humility to confess wrongdoing and the grace to forgive. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders, but you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen. So be it, O Lord. That faith, hope and love will abound and our lives will be known by joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Amen. So be it, O Lord. Then this district will bring me renown, joy, praise and honour before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Amen. So be it, O Lord. So build your nation, build your vision, O Lord, for this district. May it be a land of justice and of peace where people do not take unfair advantage of each other, where all have sufficient, and where poverty and vice will have no place to fester, where seeking to serve others means more than honour or success, where order does not rest on force, 
of both hope and love flourish and all will work for the will of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to your holy place of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.